Dihexa, a promising peptide for cognitive enhancement created by Joseph Harding at Washington State University. Famous for potentially improving cognitive function, this peptide has captivated researchers since its discovery. While the exact date of its development is somewhat unknown, it's speculated that it was somewhere around 2007, making it a relatively new addition to peptide therapy. While not yet FDA approved, without FDA approval, Foscanimitin, a phosphate pro drug of Dehexa, is currently in clinical trials for the treatment of neurodegenerative diseases such as Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. The way most peptides work can be tricky to understand. Some are fast, some are complicated, and some are so weird they are indistinguishable from magic. Dihexa works by enhancing synaptogenesis, or the formation of new synapses in the brain. Unlike ketamine and scopolamine, which are also known for their rapid effects on synaptogenesis, Dihexa won't cause you to lose your mind. Quite contrary, as more synapses mean better connections between neurons, leading to improved memory, focus, and overall cognitive function. Dihexa binds to hepatocyte growth factor receptors, a pathway linked to brain repair and regeneration. This is why it's being explored as a potential treatment for neurodegenerative conditions. According to studies on mice, Dihexa works by activating key signaling pathways in the brain that reduce inflammation and protect nerve cells from damage. When these pathways were blocked, Dihexa lost its effectiveness, highlighting its potential to support brain health. <laughs> Unlike stimulants, Dihexa doesn't appear to cause jitteriness or sleep disturbances, but its long-term impact remains unclear. It could pose certain risks, like hormonal imbalances or overstimulation of brain pathways. This has been Dihexa in 120 seconds. If you want to see more Dihexa content on this channel, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.